in this video we'll be discussing uh, sorting by counting technique so in that we'll be discussing about comparison uh, count sort and uh, distribution count sort so sorting by counting is a method of arranging numbers in ascending order using input enhancement so input enhancement technique is used here so the two sorting methods used uh, which use input enhancement are comparison counting sort and uh, the other one is distribution counting sort so firstly we'll be looking into comparison counting sort so for each element a of i in the given list we are finding the total number of elements say c of i that are lesser than a of i by comparing with all elements in the list so once you uh, comp once you find the value the count c of i obtained will be the new position of a of i in the final sorted list so this is the algorithm here so we have a uh, a means items to be sorted n is number of items to sort and b is the sorted list so algorithm a n and b so for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 do initially you are taking the uh, the count as 0 for uh, all the values okay so that's what this loop says uh, this for loop says next we have for i is equal to 0 to n minus 2 do yeah for j is equal to i plus 1 if i is 0 j would start from 1 okay to n minus 1 do so if a of i is less than a of j so you are selecting one a of i and comparing it with n number of a of j's if this condition is true then j value will get incremented so this i is compared to all the j's out there so after that if this can if uh, this fails then c i value will get incremented and j again it continues the same so this was the main algorithm okay so this is the main logic part these three lines uh, these two lines that's it so then we have for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 whatever the value uh, the count value which you have obtained will be stored in b of i okay will be stored in b of c of i uh, the a, a of i values would be equated there and you'll return the answer that's it so we'll look into a question here for better understanding so given array is this and uh, we need to sort this array so my first step would be to write the first for loop here so that is initially taking the count as 0 so I will write count as 1 2 3 4 5 6 c of i I am taking it as 0 next I will write count 1 so in count 1 I need to consider the i element and co start comparing it with all the j's out there so if I check uh, 62 is greater than 31 right so 1 1 element 62 is greater than 1 element 62 is also greater than second element that is 19 and 62 is also greater than third element that is 47 so there are three elements uh, uh, through uh, three elements if we compare and count we can say that 62 is greater than three elements but then here it, uh, 31 right so it is greater so wherever it is greater put a 0 below that okay 47 greater 97 19 also greater but in case of 84 and 96 is it greater no these are greater than 62 no so I'll put 1 in their position okay so this was my count 1 now I'll increment count 2 i value is incremented uh, uh, I'll move on to the second uh, element here so I'll copy six. Uh, is is thirty one greater than sixty two? No. So whatever was previously there in previous count, I'll copy it as it is. Uh, thirty one is greater than eighty four? No. So again, copy. Uh, again, one will uh, add one to eighty four, so it will become two here. Ninety six is greater than thirty one. Uh, thirty one is greater than ninety six? No. So increment this. Nineteen is greater than thirty one? Yes. So here add one. And 47 is greater than uh, 31. Uh, 31 is greater than 47. No. So here you add 1. Here it will be 0 itself. And here it will be 1. I hope you have understood this step. So in previous step we were comparing for 62. And in this step we are comparing for 31. Next count 3. I will take 84. So 84 is greater than uh, 62. Yes. So 1 here. So I will write previous values as it is. And here 84 is greater than 62 yes greater than 31 yes greater than 19 yes greater than 47 yes so there are totally four uh, elements uh, four elements 
uh, and for all these four elements 84 is greater than them so i i can get i can write 4 here for 96 no 96 is greater than 84 no so here 2 plus 1 i'll write 3 for 19 it is 0 and for 47 also it is 0 but then previously i have 1 here so i'll write 1 down as it is so in this step count 3 i have found the value for 84 next i'll go to count 4 so 96 96 is greater than all the elements here 1 2 3 4 5 so directly i can write 5 here for 96 and rest write it as it is 3 1 4 5 0 and 1 next i'll go to count 5 that is 19 is 19 greater than any number no 19 is not greater than any number so previous count number values only will be retained okay next i have 47 47 is greater than 19 yes only 47 is greater than 19 and 47 is greater than 31 so here um, 47 is greater than um, 19 right so I'll, I'll increment here this will become 2 and here I'll have 3 1 this part is done so let me look into this part only 3 1 4 5 0 and 2 so the final values which I have obtained are so for 62 I have obtained 3 for uh, 62 should be in the third position index values I will write it here 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 62 will be in the third position so I will write 62 here next 31 will be uh, 31 will be in the first position so I will write 31 here 19 will be in the zero position yes 84 will be in the fourth position and 47 will be in the second position and 96 will be in the last position that is fifth position so this was about the sort the solving a question okay comparison count sort we'll look into the analysis part now so writing for the analysis we'll look in we need to look into the algorithm so here we have two for loops this was to initialize to zero and this is to obtain the output but then the main code lies here i is equal to zero j is equal to i plus one so if i write analysis for this it is pretty easy pretty simple so i have summation i is equal to 0 to n minus 2 that is i part and summation j is equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1 and this uh, the this checking would the comparison operation would happen at least once so i'll write 1 there so solving this solving this particular part upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 i will have n minus 1 minus i minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel i'll be remaining with n minus 1 again here summation i is equal to 0 to n minus 2 when i solve this when i substitute i value as 1 2 3 4 i will get it in the form n into n minus 1 by 2 so further i can write it as theta uh, theta of n square order of n square theta of n square so theta of n square is the uh, time complexity for the comparison count algorithm so now let's move on to the next algorithm that is distribution count algorithm so distribution count algorithm is pretty simple i would say so in this initially uh, the, it, it is a specialized sorting algorithm used for sorting a list of items where key comes from a known limited range so this method ensures that input array is not overwritten and sorts the element by counting their occurrences and using distribution array to place them in correct positions in a new array so here we have here we'll be making use of range bounds so upper limit and uh, upper value and lower value okay so if i take uh, let me explain the algorithm i'll take a problem i'll take a question and then explain you further so initially algorithm distribution count i'm taking a array and then uh, lower value and upper value also are being included here considered here my next step for i is equal to 0 to u minus 1 u minus l do d of j value is 0 that is i am initializing the frequency uh, frequency array d to 0 for all possible values between uh, the lower value and upper value next i am taking i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 do d of uh, d of 
a of i minus l is equal to d of a of i minus l plus 1. So here I am computing frequency of each element in a and storing it in d. Here plus 1 because I might be starting uh, with j is equal to 0, right? So for that only I will be adding 1 here. Next for j is equal to 1 to u minus l do d of j is equal to d of i minus j minus 1 plus d of j that is to transform the frequency array d into a distribution array by accumulating the counts. My next step is uh, count, iterating from n minus 1 down to 0 that is place the elements in correct position in sorted array s and decrement the distribution count. So here j initially I am taking the value and then comparing this and then so, uh, decrementing and updating the value here and finally I will be uh, returning the s value the sorted uh, array value okay so let me uh, uh, speaking of the analysis part for this speaking of the analysis part so i would say that all these three are uh, like the prerequisites to conduct this algorithm but then it starts from this only so summation of i is equal to n minus 1 to 0 so for this i'll have upper limit minus lower limit plus 1. So the answer is n. So I can write it as order of big O of n that is linear. Okay. Now we'll look into a problem. So we'll take an input array. The values are 13, 11, 12, 13, 12 and 12. Index positions are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Totally 6 elements are taken here. So uh, and here lower value, L value I am specifying it as 11 and the upper value, upper limit value is 13. So uh, the, the entire array ranges between 11 and 13. The elements in the entire array range between 11 and 13. So my first step is to write the unique elements. So 11, 12, and 13 other distinct elements, right? Next, I'll calculate, I'll write the frequency value for this. What is the frequency of 11? 11 is occurring only once. And three, uh, 12 is occurring 1, 2, 3, 3 times. And 13 is occurring 2 times. Next, I'll write the distribution value here. Distribution value is, uh, I, I have to see where 11 is uh, distributed. So it is 1. So I'll write 1 as it is. Next I have to see uh, the distribution value for 12. In order to calculate the distribu distribution value I need to add these two. 1 plus 3. I'll get 4 here. And for 13 the distribution value is 4 plus 2. I'll get 6 here. So this was uh, the, the distribution uh, uh, table which I have obtained. Okay. So my next step is To write the distribution values uh, in in incremental order. So I will write the distinct values initially 11, 12 and 13. So here I have written the distinct values on this side and on this side I have written the array elements. Now I need to start. Uh, formulating the table, filling the table. So I have written the distinct values along with that uh, the distribution values also are being written here. So I have written the distribution values also. That is 1, 4 and 6 for 11, 12 and 13. Okay, done. So for 12, uh, um, A of 5 position we have 12 but then here 11. So I will write 1 as it is. But then for 12 I will cut this and decrement this as 3. For 13 it will be 6 only. Next coming to uh, 12 again 12 is there so decrement this and write it as 2 write 6 as it is now, yeah, now I have 13 here so 1 2 decrement 6 and write 5 here next I have 12 so 1 decrement this and write 5 as it is next I have 11 so decrement this put 0 here 1 and 5 next I have 13 so 0 1 decrement this so I'll get 0 1 4 so now that I've got 0, 1, 4, uh, what does this imply? 0, 1, 4 tells us the, uh, after sorting, we'll, we'll uh, obtain the sorted array, right? 
So let me construct the sorted array which will have index values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in these index values 11 would be at 0th position. So I'll write 11 here and 12 would be at 1st position and 13 would be at 4th uh, position. So between 2 and 3, between 2 and 3, between uh, 2 I had 12 and again 12 here and after 4 I have 13 here. So this is how we can obtain the sorted array here. This is the sorted array S. So this was my third step. So I hope you have understood the concept of distribution count sort and comparison count sort. If you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.